What's up everyone, Terraquake here, back with my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough. In the last episode, we took down Team Galactic once again in this big galactic building here in Eterna City. And, you know, we've been in this city the past couple of episodes, but now that we've got the bike because we saved the bike manager, we can head on out south towards the next city. But before you do that, you'll see this scientist dude right there, and he says, Tiki, long time no see. I'm like... Bro, where have I seen you? And apparently he's Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. And he came a long way to give us something, um, depending on how many Pokemon we have met. If you have met, or if you have seen at least 35 Pokemon, then he will give you the EXP share. Now, what this thing does is, you know how you can sort of switch uh, a Pokemon in and switch them out and no get experience? Well, now you don't even have to do that. You can just make them hold this and they will automatically get experience. Um, now you can actually get this as soon as you get to Eterna City. This can be like the first thing you do as long as you have seen 35 Pokemon. I just sort of forgot about it, but I don't even use that item anyways. So it doesn't really apply to me because I'm probably never going to use it. These people are sort of talking about the bikes because we're about to head onto the cycling road. Oh, well, I guess it's Route 206, but technically it's the cycling road. We all know it's the cycling road of this game. And there's actually a route under us. That, um, I'll probably be exploring in the next episode or something. There's not too many trainers on it, but some good items you can grab. But we'll go ahead and focus on the cycling road where there's a ton of cyclists. Axel here has a Staravia, so interesting, uh, choice here. Uh, you have a Timonate. Oh, man, I feel like this could be long. I don't know. Uh, quick attack. Hopefully it just doesn't use wing attack. Grottle's almost up a level. I just want to get him there. And then I'm pretty sure a lot of the people on the cycling road have like electric and flying types. So, you know, uh, shield on should be good for them. And yeah, you're just going to keep on lowering my attack. That's, that's not very cool. Staravia. Stupid Staravia. Mine's the only good one. Uh, any other Staravia is just awful. Oh, geez, wing attack. Hopefully I won't do too much. Alright, good. We're still in green health. Just because, you know, Grottle's amazing defenses. People who say Grottle's so slow, well, he backs it up for his defenses. Are you kidding me? You're literally at one health, and you're going to get in one more wing attack? Seriously? Oh my gosh, that is so dumb. can hardly even see the red. Man, Cyclist Axel is using some hacks or something, I don't know. Anyways, though, I think Grottle should get up a level here. I hope he does. And then we can sort of switch him out. Let's see. And yeah, he did. Nice. Grotto level 24 and beat Cyclist Axel. So just to let you know, the cycling road actually makes you keep on moving unless you sort of, um, unless you, oh, I forgot to switch out. Oh my gosh. Why do I always realize that right before I'm going into a battle? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, Shinx, um, okay, this is a better battle for Grotto. We'll just keep him in, I guess. I don't really know, I don't wanna switch out. Like I was saying, the cycling road will actually force you to keep on moving down unless you're getting blocked by something, like a person, or you um, are obviously holding the up arrow. So, you gotta just keep that in mind, because sometimes, you know, you can, you can get out of a battle and you'll immediately be zooming down going into another battle. So, yeah, it can be kind of annoying. Now I'm going to switch. That battle was much easier than the last one. And, yeah, we'll go to shield on. Who really needs to get some more action? You guys probably, I mean, he got used last last episode in the Eterna building, but that's really been about it, so. Here we go, and you'll see that hiker down there in some grass. That's the route that I'll probably be going into next episode. You can find some pretty cool Pokemon down there. Cyclist James. Do all these people have one Pokemon or something? I don't know, but here we go. Ponyta. Perfect matchup for Shield on. Ponyta, if you're wondering, you can actually find on that little small route next to Eterna City that I explored like three episodes ago. Uh, not a bad fire type. It really stinks though because in Diamond and Pearl, there's only two fire types you can get. You can either get the Chimchar line at the start. If you don't pick him, Ponytail's your only other option. I'm sorry. Sort of stinks, and that's why I'm going to spoil it. I'm not using the fire type on my team. I don't really know if that was a spoiler, but whatever. Um, speaking of my team though, my next team member will be coming before the third gym, however. We have another long, long road to the third gym, like probably even longer than the uh, road to Eterna City. So, 
Yeah, there's still a lot of Pokemon in there, but if you want to go and try to take a guess down below in the comment section, go on ahead. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to give you guys hints just yet. You'll sort of have to use process of elimination as I go through these routes. Here we've got another cyclist. Seems like everyone just wants to battle here, and I think they all have one Pokemon. I'm not sure. Let's see. Pff, okay, I take that back. Cyclist Nicole has two Pokemon. They should be pretty easy, though. Starly. Um, the only bad thing is Shudon, he must be in, like, the slow XP group or something, because he does not seem like he gets experience that much. I mean, he gets, he goes up, uh, levels that much. Probably in, like, the freaking XP group with Magikarp or something. Jeez. Maybe that's why people say it's so hard to use. Nah, it's all good. We'll just grind, boys. We're just finna grind, you know? Shudon's still a beast, so, yeah. Only seven, seven levels away from evolving, which will be awesome. Seems like we got a while to go, though. Another Ponyta, I'll take it. Ponyta is probably, like, one of the best sources for experience points right now. If you're, like, training in the wild or something. These things, I think the wild ones give you, like, 200 and 300. And, of course, these trainers give you, like, 400, 500. It's pretty good. Because if you didn't know, I mean, you probably do know if you've played any Pokemon game. But, uh, trainers... Give you more experience than wild battles. I think it's like 40% more or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Lowered its speed, but of course it's still going to be faster. Psh, tackle is going to be one hit point. Ha! We four times resist tackle. I don't even know what this dude's trying to get. Okay, but see here. Here's Rock Tomb being unreliable. Once again, just missing. Gosh, bro. Come on. There we go. There we go. And down goes the Ponyta. I do like Rock Tomb though because, you know, it's decent. It does some decent damage. But it also lowers the opponent's speed. And on Shield On, that can be very helpful. Especially after you've used it like two or three times. So, yeah. For now, it's a good Rock Tomb move. But, I don't know. I need to look at Shield On's moveset. Because he has not learned anything since I got him. And, yeah. Now, we're going to get to a point after we fight this guy. Where there's going to be two different paths. They lead to the same place. Doesn't really matter. Cyclist John, oh, he wants to be cool, too, with having two Pokemon. Okay, John. Um, yeah, but I really just don't like Shion's moveset right now. I'm Rock Tomb. I explained it, I think, like, last episode or two episodes ago. Take, we have Takedown and Rock Tomb. Of course, Rock Tomb only has 10 PP, and it's a decent move. It's kind of unreliable, but Takedown just does recoil damage, and that's why I sort of use it as a finishing move, so I only take, like, two recoil, or, I mean, two hit points from the recoil or something like that because you know if you if you I think it depends uh, on how much damage you do to the opponent that's how much recoil you'll get back or something like that but shield on is pretty close to leveling up here so looks like we won't really have to worry about that I don't think this Staravia will get us there though especially when he's trying to use intimidate just gonna make me use even more rock tombs even though Mari at 4 pp left because this thing only has 10 yeah, after this episode, I'm definitely looking at his moveset, seeing what he gets. Because, um, you know, I, I'm not sure what he's going to get. Anyways, let's see how much this does. Oh, so close. You know, I'm just used to take down. Just got to take this boy down. Um, and get him out of my face. Oh, we're faster. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, shield on. I see you there. Being faster than the Staravia. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Let's see, 363, oh, we're close, one more battle. I think there's like two more battles left. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right first. I think there's like a cool tunnel you go through. No, I take that back. I must be thinking of some other game. Oh, we got a trainer down here though. And I think we got like one more because one of those um, cyclists down there doesn't battle you or something like that, so I'll see. Maybe I'm thinking of Platinum where there's that, like, tunnel you go through or something. I don't even know, bruh. I don't even know, bruh. This guy's got a Zubat. Whoa, okay. I thought we were just seeing, like, Staravias and Ponytas. Not a Zubat. Are you looking like Team Galactic out here? To be honest, Team Galactic probably needs to get some exercise. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they don't look fat, but... I mean, all they do is sort of just sit around and follow orders all day, so... Ooh, don't confuse me. Ooh, thank goodness I missed. That would have been very annoying. And yeah, I only have one PP on Rock Tomb left. This should take out the Zubat. Please. Please take it out. Yes, sir. Um, this better get us up a level. 
Come on, Shilon. You know you want level 24. Yes, sir. Level 24, baby. Any new move? Oh, oh, swagger. Really? Man, I got excited there for a second. Let's see. I got metal sound, iron defense. No. No, I don't really like swagger. Just because it... I mean, you know, sure you confuse them. But first of all, it's not even guaranteed that you'll confuse them. I mean, that they'll hit themselves in confusion. And it boosts the opponent's um, attack stat up by two. And, um, yeah, after they get done with that confusion and they're a physical attacker, you're kind of screwed, not going to lie. All right, I'm hoping this is, like, the last person because the grotto's pretty weak right now. So, yeah. Hopefully, Cyclist Rachel is the last person. Shinx, okay. If you're having Shinx, that's pretty good. Staravia, Ponyta, that is, uh, that's not good. But, you know, I'll take Shinx all day long. To be honest, I haven't even seen much of Shinx in this game. Um, but you know, like, it does get used a lot still, just because you can find it so early on in the game, it's a good electric type, it's got two evolutions, but I'm not using one on my team, we don't need that boy, we don't need no electric type, ooh, did I just spoil something, that spoiled something, I'm not getting an electric type on my team, ooh, bruh, alright, good, you just have another Shinx, and I think this might be the last person, but I'm not positive. By the way, the good thing, once you get off of the cycling road, is you sort of loop back around. There's a little slope you can take down now that you have the bike. You can just go up and down it, and it'll lead you right back to Orberg City, which is pretty nice. So it's sort of a good resting point instead of having to go all the way back up to Eterna to heal. You can just quickly head down there, and um, yeah, so it's kind of cool because it all loops back around one big circle. And nope, this person does fight you. Okay, one more battle. And then we are finally off this road that has felt like, yeah, I don't even know. You have one Pokemon, Pikachu, okay. Psh, Pikachu's got awful defenses, I'm not even worried. Bruh, I'm sorry, but like, Pikachu, it might be the mascot of Pokemon, but uh, this thing has, is pretty bad. Unless, of course, you put the, um, what's it called, the freaking, uh, what's it called again? The light stone or something like that on it. Shoot, I completely forget what it's called. I don't know why. Light ball, maybe? I don't know, but that thing just makes it OP, so... Yeah, maybe it's just that. Anyways, finally, last trainer goes down. And we can get off the cycling road. Yeah! Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Um, let's see. You guys don't have anything to say. They're just talking about their bikes. Or bicycles. Oh, hey, this person gives you a flag. This is like an accessory. I think you can use... Yeah, in the fashion case, so I would probably never be using that. And now we are on Route 207. Nope, still 206. And we'll be exploring Route 206 in the next episode. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.